Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I am reacting to NTT Dreams Dive Into You and Hot Sauce Dance Practice. Um, I know, or at least sometimes, they have to like reach a goal or something in like MVs or whatever in order to release the dance practice or that might just be something I saw. But I feel like they released the dance practices really late. But like, was Dreams like to win Inkigayo and then we'll release the dance practices? Also, like, y'all, they won in Kigayo. That's incredible. Like, first first NCT subunit to get a sh uh, win on a music show, and now the first NCT subunit to win in Kigayo. So, like, y'all, congrats to the babies. They've done so well. So I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to the dance practice. I wasn't going to react to this without Kevin, but Kevin doesn't really not care about the dances, the dance part of it, but he doesn't understand because he doesn't have a background in dance at all whatsoever. Um, he can just kind of like look at it and be like, oh, that's hard or that's easy or whatever. So I figured I could just do this by myself. And there's a moving version and like a standstill version for hot sauce. So if he wants to see the dance practice, um, I'm doing the standstill camera today, but if he wanted to see the dance practice, we'll do a reaction to the moving one since it's a little different. So, um, but yeah, let me, get into this reaction. I'm actually really glad they did a dance practice for Dive Into You because I like wasn't expecting one. But look how cute they are. This was such a playful and fun dance. This song has become like one of mine and my sister's favorites. I'm tired of Asian wearing ripped jeans and dance practice. But even like just the choreo is so playful. I like the sectionings. The chaos happening in the back with Haitian and Damon. Y'all can't tell me every member of NCT Dream isn't absolutely obsessed with Runjun. I mean, y'all look at how they were looking at him. Mark fixed his little hair. Y'all, that part of the choreo, the little, is so cute. Nana sliding in to that center position. You know, I would love more Runjin by it, uh, Runjin center. I miss Gigi song. Okay, I couldn't tell what Jenna was wearing around his neck. Jenna, what are you doing? Chanla loves Mark more than anything. There's so much going on. Y'all, what are the... I like how everybody who goes into the center just kind of like slides into it. Y'all are so precious. <laughs> Jenno. No, I love you guys. Oh, no, that was so wholesome. They're so precious. 
Okay, now we're going to get into the like standstill dance practice for a hot sauce. This this choreo. This choreo is really good. Um, I thought it was very different. Right, well, first let me resp- uh, kind of give an opinion on diving to you. I love the choreo. I thought it was very playful, very, they've never done, I don't think any choreo like that. I think there's been some stages. I haven't seen them, but I know at concerts they'll do like a lot of stages where they're just like sitting on things and like they'll get up and interact every, or not interact, but get up and dance every once in a while. But this was like a constant go, come and go of like, someone would sit in the back and uh, kind of hang out and do fun little stuff uh, while the front was dancing. But I like the fact that whatever was going on in the back wasn't so extravagant that it was taking attention away from the members who were dancing in the front. Um, it was like, if you noticed it, it was fun and playful, but like the, your eyes were still supposed to be like fixated on what was going on in front of you. Like it wasn't like wild, like when it was all wild and chaotic, it was all wild and chaotic. And like, you were trying to search for something to look for. Um, but I think they did a really good job of like, uh, sectioning, having like these four go up and do something and get their attention. Um, and then the next three, but it, they would connect it by one member going from one group to the next, um, while somebody was in the back waiting for their turn. Um, but this was, I love this stage. Like there were some times where I was like more excited for the dive into you stage than I was the hot sauce stage. Um, so I just, I really, I really like the song. Uh, I think when I did the album reaction, I said that they would probably do Diggity, um, but they ended up choosing Dive Into You, and I'm I'm really glad that they did because I, it's probably like one of my top three on the album. So and apparently it's a lot of people's like top song or not top song, but in their top songs as well because it's like constantly continuing to like climb the charts. So, but before I keep ranting on and on and on, I'll go into Hot Sauce. And I've seen so many of these stages um, for Hot Sauce that I pretty much like know the choreo by now. So, but I'm interested to see how it looks in the in a practice room. So. The claps are satisfying. I don't know why, but I really like that part. This cute little beanie. I think this choreo, it was like very apparent with the different moves that they did. Um, how like each one of them styles that move. Cause you can see like little instances where like they move their shoulders differently, um, or there's more chest isolation. Like even this part, if you watch how just like their hands Runjin uh, does a lot more of this than Jisung does And like, look at this part, like compare 
like how Jeno does his shoulders compared to Runjin and Jisong in the back. There's a lot more movement um, from Runjin than there is Jeno and Jisong. I like like this part. If you watch like how Mark does it compared to how Jamin does it, it's different. Hold on. Like Mark goes more down and Jamin goes more out to the side. Okay, Chama. Yeah. That was so good. Um Yeah, I really like I really like Hot Sauce Choreo. Um there's definitely like other dream choreo that I liked better, but it was still like really, really good. Um I feel like I can't usually, if Kevin is here, everything I would have said about like their different style, uh, stylistic choices when they're dancing, I would have just kept to myself because Kevin just doesn't care about all that. Um, so it was nice to do that. But, uh, and even then there were still some that I wanted to say that I was like, I'm re rewinding it a lot. So I'm gonna stop. Uh, but I think there was like one day where I watched one of their stages and just like kind of like broke down their choreo because I like doing that sometimes. And I noticed, especially when they do a lot of shoulder movement stuff, especially like like the uh, like when they move their shoulders back and forth and different things like that, or when they do like the, that little thing at the end. Um, Jamin and Runjin have very very good control of their shoulders, um, and honestly, the last time I watched this, Chon like caught my attention with that part as well. Um, that's like when I said I talked about the shoulder parts um, during Chanless like center section, how Runjin was like moving his a whole lot more. Like it was there was more of an impact on his shoulders than there was from Jeno and Jisong. Um, it's because he's got such good control of his shoulders, so like he just he just does that more. Um, but then like there were parts where like especially like Jisong solo, he this isn't really so much of like. He doesn't get to show his like popping a whole lot in this. So it was nice for him to sh have that little section where you're like, okay, this is what Park Ji Sung's like, this is what he can do. Um, because as we all know, like no one is going to kill that genre as much as Ji Sung will. So, um, but they all have like their own, I said this in a previous like reaction, they all have very, they're like very different styles. Um, I was talking to my sister like a couple of days ago and we were like, yo, what if Runjin like did a dance cover of advice from Taemin? I could see Runjin or Jamin doing it. I told her initially at first I could see G Song doing it, but there's a lot of like contemporary parts, which if you've seen, uh, what was it, Dancing High? G Song actually had to do like quite a bit of contemporary. So I still think he could do it. Um, but I think like those three would, f that would fit their style very well because it was very contemporary, but it also had a lot of like high impact, like uh, isolation movements and things like that. So I just feel like they would be really good at doing styles like that. Um, I like how Hachin had like fun with it. Um, there were times where like, when the rest of them were like, clapping a certain way, Hachin would do something different and make it fun, especially when he was in the center. Um, they all just have like their own little flair on how they do things. 
And so I think it's really nice that even when they do do stuff a little bit different, it doesn't take away from the impact of the move. Um, so that's that's really nice that they're able to kind of still be their like synchronized, clean selves, but still make it their own choreo. So I'm going to continue to talk about their dancing ability because they're all like, well, NCT has no dancing holes. I haven't said that in a reaction in a while. But I mean, Dream is such a strong dance unit that they could all easily be made and lead dancers. Um, so, uh, but I mean, it was great dance practice from both of them. Very, very different styles. Like Dive Into You is more fun and playful. Um, got a nice, a lot of nice little like uh, soft movements. And then you have Hot Sauce where especially in that dance break, it's like very like hit, hit. Um, so, yeah, I really enjoyed this. I, it's, it's been killing me that I haven't, like, watched these because usually when they immediately drop, I'm like, okay, I must see this now. And it, they've been out for, I think, a couple of days, and I just haven't watched them. So I'm glad I was able to react to them. Um, but, yeah, hopefully next time we do a dance practice, Kevin will be here. Um, if not, it's okay. Um, as soon as Taman, if Taman releases his dance practice, I'm going to react to it immediately because I'm, I'm dying to see it. Um, his stages have been incredible because he usually comes on either like right before or right after. It's usually right after Dream on their music shows. So I'm glad they were able to promote at the same time. Um, we all keep streaming. Hot Sauce. Uh, Dream, of course, has more chances to win music shows this week. So we, of course, we want seven wins for seven Dream. So let's, let's try to make that happen. They got four this week and they have a chance of getting four next week. So we can do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Um, be on the lookout for the next one, and I will see you guys next time.